Well, one 258. Goodbye, mirror number three. We are down to one, but now we have currency to buy stuff for our next project. So close. We are so close, guys. Oh. Well, welcome to Project Ravaged Blight. We're gonna run a hundred Ravaged Blighted maps with 320 plus quant and anointed with double gold, triple silver, opalescent, and triple teal oils. They are chiseled, they are rolled to 80 plus quant, generally 85 plus. And we're gonna put in a hundred Mortal Grief and Mortal Hope, which are 10 quant each, and two more other random sack frags for another 10 quant. So we're adding another 30 quant on top of this. We're gonna duo run them with Bazooka Tank. I have uh, pivoted my build to a Nebulous uh, Ellie Spark build. Triple conversion and chaos and all that stuff. My damage is about equal chaos. Fire and cold, and uh, tank is a uh, juiced aura bot, no longer supporting totems. He is now supporting a spell, so he has zealotry and you know all the other appropriate auras. We have 90 overcap, so my nebuluses are giving me uh, like 700% ink damage each. We're not running uh, alley reflect maps. Uh, we could, if I respect five nodes and spec this mastery and put on a pantheon. But we just rerolled them because out of 100, I rolled two LA Reflect maps. We're not running no regen. It's the one mod we can't run. Minus max is a massive damage nerf for us, but we tested it and monsters still die off screen without building towers. So my damage is pretty good. This is like a 1.3 billion damage build. We're not walling them because they could break into no regen, which we can't run. Or we'd have to put on like an enduring mana flask and press another button. And, you know, we're not about pressing a lot of buttons here. We're just going to hold Spark in the middle and uh, let the Sparks do the work. Total cost per map is about 1.2 Divines. We spent around 120 Divines. Maybe a little less, maybe like between 110 and 120 on all the oils, chisels, maps, some rolling, and the uh, the two cheap Uberetsi refragments. We have the caster mastery to open chests in the end, of course. Yes, we're gonna be uh, spamming sparks to open chests. Cool loot explosions. All right, bazooka tank, are you ready? Yes. Are you? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's bring in some portal scrolls. Loot will, of course, be separated into quad tab, fragment tab, and currency tab. I have set up all the affinities. They should all go here. Everything that isn't currency will go here, or fragment. Everything that's currency will go here. Ooh. And everything that's fragment will go here. And then we'll tabulate the loot at the end. Let's grab some portal scrolls and uh, get this party started with the minus max. Ready? Yeah. In terms of towers, we just tested and we don't really need to build any. Like, we just build one at the start, the empower tower. So just give me some more cast speed action speed, whatever, and uh, that's it. We can build some stun towers for proxy shield dudes to slow them down. Um, could be leveling gems. Do we want to bother with that? I don't think so. Uh, are, you, are you kidding me? I don't think so. Is this, is this a joke? <laughs> is this a joke? <laughs> Listen, people will ask. I have empty sockets. Like, I could be leveling 16 gems as well. <laughs> Man, you, you, you're not pressing the the, the sigil button. Makes Correct. Me really sad. Okay, I'll press it. There you go. See, that could be more gems yeah. that we could be leveling <laughs> that we're also not doing. I, I really like the blue circle, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does look pretty cool. Oh, 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 oh bubble. I see it. Bubble. Bubble boys. Okay. Yeah, if they get cleaned out by explode, then GG, but sometimes it seems like we have to run into the bubbles. I mean, if I stood like on the pump, they would eventually walk into me and die. Probably. Boss oh, that's pump? a big bubble. Uh oh. Uh oh, that's a big boss actually. Okay, he died. Nice. Yeah, bubble bosses are 
Scary. Okay. They're coming. Okay. The rest is probably stuck. I'm gonna start blowing up chests. Golden oil. Wait, something at the pump. Alright, okay. You're on the top. My screen, bro. I still have Z Z Z pressed. Okay, that's smart. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> now, now we loot. <laughs> Good luck, dude. Oh my God, my screen. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay, it's well, gonna be fun. 100 maps, guys. Let's go. Epidemiology. Varieties of items contained in three blighted maps. Blight chests in your maps are lucky. Blight chests in your maps have 80% more chance to contain blighted maps. Yeah, from the wording, it should not work. These maps are not on the atlas. Okay, so apparently two leagues ago, they that note did work but they changed it. He was talking about fortune favors the brave. Still shouldn't work, but that's an easy test. We can spec the shaping the valleys. Can you even put fortune favors the brave on this? Oh, look, you can't. Blighted maps cannot be opened with one or more of the selected modifiers. Okay. Any more ideas? <laughs> Are we good? <laughs> We're good to go? Let's see. Oh, no, no, don't open. Okay, okay. Ready for, uh, ready for loot explosions only. Boom. 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 Kapow. Snapow. Boom. Bang. Kapow. Boom. Some maps. Oh my god, that was a lot of rolls. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's so much more. Let's go. Alright, alright, alright. This, this is not even gonna fit on screen. There's gonna be so many divines. Okay. <laughs> okay. Why are you playing Demon Stitcher? It's the cheapest um, ES base gloves that actually does something and you can buy with Ellie Weakness for curse. You, the mobs need to be cursed for profane boom explosions to work. So you either get a curse on hit, synth ring, or hunter ring with LA weakness, which means dropping like 300 million damage because of how conversions work. Or you get some dog shit gloves with LA weak corrupt and then GG noobs. This is like 20c item. The epic adventure of the electric spider exterminators and the fungal outbreak. A tale of friendship, survival, and unwavering support. And oil yep. extracting. And the extraction of essential oils, of course. Yep. That's what's going on. Okay, it's time to upgrade my build. Are you ready? I'm upgrading my build. GG. And now, back to mapping. The video on setting up scroll wheel to left click. No. I'll make a video right now, okay? Watch this. Open X mouse button control. Which is a 
third party program. You add Path of Exile, whatever you're using Steam version or client or standalone client, and then wheel up, left click, wheel down, left click, apply, GG. That's the video. Thanks for watching. <sighs>
add up to uh, 70 divines out of 115. Let's see if all of this adds up to more. Let's vendor the Verdant Oils to uh, condensate this. I'm starting to believe now because of mm -hmm. the Guardian maps. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's all the oils. It is time to repurpose my oil tab. Ravaged oil. Time to sort oils. Oh my god. Okay, let's launch Excellence and go through the, the card tab alone. If I want to see single cards that are at least 3C, or I guess more than 3C, yeah, we want singles. Okay, there's no way I have 6,600 Chaos in cards. What? The tower. Yeah, like it values the tower at 3C. All right, let's do a 5C limit. Go again. 5C limit. There we go. So 3,184C in cards with the minimum card valued at 5C. So every card that's less than 5C is not included in this. Maybe I should even increase it to 7 Chaos. Let's, let's see how it looks with 7 Chaos. It's not going to be that much of a difference now, probably. We lost another 1,000 Chaos. Okay, so let's go with 6. Okay, so that's about the, the limit there. 2,100 Chaos in cards, uh, which includes the Voids, uh, which probably sell decently in bulk for some stupid gamblers. Biggest value was the Nurse Drop over the entire project. It was a card, other than the two flat row Divines that dropped together. And then some Patience, seven Patience, almost an extra Nurse in Patience. Divine Beauty, Sephiroth, Wealth and Power. Garish Power, Desecrated Virtue. These were the best cards. Let's add 2114C to this and never look at this card tab again. The Void was 3C, it's gone. 4C in bulk. Yeah, we got like 47 Voids. Should we add that, guys? Okay, sure. 188. I mean, those will sell. Can we trust Excellence to do Scarab, Scarab stuff and Fragment stuff? Probably not these. Probably take these out. These are so worthless. Okay. I haven't used the TFT bulk selling tool for a, like a year. This is how it looks. This is a tool that uh, someone on TFT developed. And uh, it yoinks your data from the, from the Stash API. Same as Excellence, same as the trade site, all that stuff. And um, does pricing that you can post into a nice, nicely edited, formatted text and image post for the bulk want to sell channels. So you can just click and buy someone's entire fragment tab, entire essence tab, whatever. I think it works with all the special tabs. Not using POA stack? I have never used a POA stack. I don't know how to use it. And I'm not about to start learning a new tool I've never used before. So we pick our essence tab because we have huge bulk of essences. It's called Ravaged E. E, 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 Okay, and we click Essence and High Essence. And we want 100% of POA Ninja price. Select tab. Here is our Essence, oh my god. Okay, and then, what now? That's it, we're done. Put your in-game name, generate text, generate image. We have 5.6 Divines, or 1,257 Chaos worth of essences. Because we have a big bulk, we can probably ask for 100% price, but let's just ask for 90%. Boom. There we go, it did it, 90%. Okay, hell yeah. So we have about five divines 
or 1134 chaos of essences. You can now click generate text and now you have a nice message that you can put in the TFT channel. This is how it's gonna look. You can paste this to a channel, the want to sell channel and this is how it's gonna look. Okay, and you can generate a nice picture too. What was Basically that? our whole list of all the essences broken down by chaos, by a divine and uh, amount and stuff. So now we're gonna do this for the fragment tap to 90%. Boom, there we go. We have 3.5 divines or 798 chaos of fragments. So this is all the shitty scarabs, a couple of breaches, a couple of Atsiri fragments, bunch of lab. Probably shouldn't sell that, actually. We're gonna unselect the offerings and unselect the divine vessels. Probably nobody cares about that. And now we have 628 sca eight chaos. Oh, we didn't select the scarabs. I see. That makes sense. Okay, I'm adding scarabs and fragments. There we go. Now we unselect divine vessels and offerings. And we have 1968 chaos of scarabs and fragments. Let's see if everything is correct here. Okay, and this is 90% price. So 1968. This many chaos, which means what's left is to excellence this tab, this tab, the Oilers, this tab, and the currency tab. 100, Ravaged F, Ravaged Oil, Ravaged Loot, Ravaged C, and that's it. Uh, okay. Save profile. And I'm removing the price threshold because everything in here is bulk stuff. And did we add the wall temples? That is ravaged loot. We did. We did add the wall temples. Here we go. Take snapshot. Ah! 40,564 chaos. 7,000 of which is in stack decks. 6,800 in divines. 3,000 in sextants. 2,300 in silver oils. 2,000 in chaos. 2,000 in gold oils. 1.4k in opal oils. Let's scroll down to make sure that this is all proper things that we want to sell. Yeah, everything is fine here. There's, there's a few chaos here in like catalyst that you might not want to sell, but yeah, that seems pretty good. Okay, so we're adding this 40,564 chaos. So our final income is 47,401 chaos, which at current divine prices, 222 is 213.5 divines income. Minus our investment, which is 115 divines. And that brings us to a grand total of 98.5 divines profit. We are in the green and not even close. We almost doubled our money. Not quite. And especially now that golden oils are more expensive. We bought all of our golden oils at 55 C each. They are 63 to 67 now. So uh, it is more expensive to do golden oil anoints now, but not by much. You could still do it. Maybe you make a couple of more, like a couple of less divines here. Everything here sells in bulk, but you might want to spend a couple of hours trading. Of course, these are never a currency per hour strategies. That's not really the point of these. It's more like a per map uh, investment and output, input, output basis things seems like uh, you make about a one divine profit on a on a blight ravage map they take a long time to run and not just to run they take way more to loot it takes us about an average of eight minutes to run a map and that's because it's two and a half minutes to for the timer and then the rest is all looting and dumping if you want to do the time calculations of this 
this would be 100 times 8 minutes divided by 60. It took us 13.3 hours to run them and we made 100 divines profit. So not very good. 98.5 divided by 13.3. Wait, actually, that's pretty good. That's 7.4 divines an hour if you run them solo. If you run them duo, you split this in half, right? So if you have a very strong build, if you have like a similar build, but without an aura bot, you run your own auras, or you're, you don't mind building towers, of course, then you can do seven divines an hour, which is really good for solo. There is a lot of gumba involved, which you don't have to engage with. You can sell the stack decks in bulk for big profit. You can uh, sell everything for bulk, big profit, but you'll get some keys. You'll get a lot of stack decks, which you can open for big gumba opportunity. The maps are, if you have a good build, pretty boring. You just sit there and you spam your ability, whatever clears, if you have like an aura stacker, EK, spark, something that has big coverage, you just stand there and hold right click. If you have a summoner, maybe your summons can take care of things. If you don't have a good build, you can still run them, but you have to build a lot of towers. So that is a lot of active gameplay. Maybe you prefer doing that. Uh, in that case, uh, of course, it's not gonna be AFK farming, but... Uh, it seems, it seems like it's still really good money. I am actually kind of curious of what happens if you don't invest as much. I don't know if the double golden oil is a good strat. Maybe you're better off just buying the base map because the base map is less than a fourth of the total investment. It's like a fifth or even less, actually. It's like 45C for, per map in bulk. And we spent 1.15 divine on each. So... If you just buy the map and then just do triple teal, triple crimson, opal silver something, then you can run them for like half a divine each instead of 1.1, 1.15. So it, that might be, might be way more worth for your time. Less input cost, less output probably, but I don't know if it's that much less. So... Um, Bazooka, are you ready for another hundred with different oils? Yes. Okay, we'll uh, we'll think about it. We'll uh, we'll consider. <laughs> Overall, I'd say I had fun. Did you have fun? Absolutely. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Are you serious? Why you laugh? I did yeah. have fun. Okay, yeah, no, it, your answer I sounded have... like a delete this part of the sponsored message. <laughs> but yeah, uh, the, <laughs> the loot explosions were fun. You can get some divines, you can, uh, you know, th there is this, there is, this is some of the biggest last remaining loot explosions in Path of Exile, and those are always fun. And um, with the teal oils, they go really fast. It's just the looting that's, that's, that's slow. I think it's a better idea to run them a little bit faster and make our filter stricter, especially if we do lower investment. Like yeah, it's I, better I, to have a PC my so you don't have loading screens. True, also, but that's not might not be an option for everyone. Probably shouldn't loot chromes. Probably shouldn't loot alts. Maybe shouldn't loot alks either. Yeah, definitely shouldn't loot alks. Do you have any parting words? Not really. Like. I just wish we had like more gachi. Yeah. That's it. That can be arranged. Let's get your. My name is Dan. I'm Irish.